Yeah, so uh, do it right before I start reading. And is uh, your namesake? Your namesake is he still? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll remove. Let me hold it. Yeah. Mm. You can you can see. Mm. There. Okay. So tell me what you're doing before I start reading. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, good evening. Today, the 20th of August, is indeed a day that has gripped the imagination and attention of all Kenyans. Not just within our boundaries, but even Kenyans in the diaspora. I therefore wish to make a statement on behalf of the ANC party, as we have been keenly following the judgment being pronounced by the Court of Appeal, and it is quite clear that they have made a momentous decision, and it's on this basis that I will be making a formal statement on behalf of the Amani National Congress Party in the company of our colleagues and party members who are here this evening. The title of our statement is that ANC abides by the Court of Appeal ruling. The long-drawn BBI process has been taxing to Kenyans. It has sapped their energy, attention, and time and tested their patience to no limit. Kenyans, both for and against BBI, being an extremely resilient people, have borne the BBI journey stoically. They deserve kudos for staying sober in adversity. It is due to this peculiar Kenyan character of perseverance that the BBI process did not witness any violent scenes, reminiscence of such contentious political undertakings, though there were some ugly provocations in some instances. But now that a judgment has been rendered, we should all unanimously, as a united people, focus on more pressing matters that are crying out for attention. We cannot live a dream forever. At one point, we must wake up to the reality and move on. Following the Court of Appeal upholding the High Court ruling on BBI, therefore, 1. ANC respects the decision of the Court of Appeal to uphold the High Court 1 on the BBI matter. This buttresses our unwavering belief in the rule of law and independence of the judiciary and other independent offices and commissions set out in the Constitution. It affirms the confidence we have in our judges to discharge their constitutional duty of interpreting the Constitution for which I have no doubt they have done purely on the basis of their reading of the law and impartially as their oath of office requires of them. Secondly, 
ANC supported BBI for its beneficial clauses to Kenyans. When we say it is time to move on, we mean that those con non-contentious articles in the Constitution of Kenya Amendment Bill 2020 can be salvaged through a bipartisan national and parliamentary process. We therefore encourage Parliament to seize this moment and lead Kenyans in a collective process that salvages what is useful from BBI. Thirdly, ANC urges all Kenyans of goodwill to now move on and focus on pressing matters that affect them. One such urgent matter is how to manage the COVID-19 pandemic, its deleterious impact on livelihoods, and the need to cushion Kenyans increasingly being pummeled into economic destitution. In other words, our attention should shift to economic recovery. For Towards this end, ANC requests the President to consider full focus on the fight and management of the COVID-19 pandemic by reallocating the funds that had been intended for the BBI campaign and referendum vote to acquisition, to acquisition of enough, to the acquisition of enough vaccines for Kenyans. I'll repeat that. Towards this end, ANC requests the President to consider full focus on the fight and management of the COVID-19 pandemic by reallocating the funds that had been intended for the BBI campaigns and referendum vote to the acquisition of enough vaccines for Kenyans. Finally, ANC calls on all Kenyans to also focus on the urgency of creating the right environment for a free, fair, and credible election in 2022. Any slackening of the pace to prepare Kenya for elections in 2022 would be a betrayal. All assistance, support, and capacity building should now be directed at the IABC to enable the Commission prepare fully for the elections of 2022. End of statement, and thank you. God bless Kenya.